and maybe his best skill is something you can't quantify, his heart. He's got so much heart. He's got so much heart. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Antonio Rogério Nogueira! And now, here's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A wrestler, only a professional record of 17 wins, 8 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Yuma, Arizona, USA, Kelvin Gastelum. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready? You ready to fight? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Whoa! Oh! Back to the feet. He needs to start looking to finish now, because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Vicious combo there. He's got to go take that finish down now. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by No I mean, he did. And with authority, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop him. you got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Kelvin Gastelum. And there comes the separation now. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. All right, single collar tie now. Back and forth we go. Taken down here by Nogueira. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he goes hurt. Oh, big elbow. Boy, Todd Flop. Oh, nice work there with the knees. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Mustafa. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep an attempt. Now, looks as though he's got the neck. get a finish here. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Against side mount, and now maybe the Von Flew choke will be there. Open St. Prue has got to like that transition there. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. 
Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, here we go with round two. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. <laughs> Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find him something that's going to go behind him. His opponent limping a little bit, tried to stay upright. Change the complexion of this. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Visibly limping here. Big punch to the body. Oh. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, his leg kick rounds his opponent trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Left hand punch to the clinch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Noguera. Unbelievable. He's, He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high he it up and he low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. How about those five minutes? There's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh. Oh. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Big cut lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Stuffs the takedown. There. Oh! Oh! Side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Man! Gastelum's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. 
All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. And he landed the right hand there. Castellum's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off him. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. That is it. Herb Dean steps in. Wow. Wow. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 23 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kelvin Gaston. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.